A 15 year old Bibb County student is recovering today after he claims another student punched him in the head with brass knuckles. I sat down with Makai Rouse and his mother who says she's frustrated with the way school officials handled the situation. My head burst. And now Makai Rouse has three staples in it. The eighth grader at Ballard Hudson Middle School says on Monday he was leaving for the day when he got into a fight with three other students. Makai says one like pulled way. out brass knuckles. One guy grabbed my hands and the other one pulled my head down and he um, pulled them out and just started beating me with them. Makai's mother, Latifia Rouse, says she got the call around 3.30 after the fight happened, but it didn't come from school officials. I uh, got a phone call uh, from a friend and she was like, girl, your, your son just got the fight. He got hit with some brass knuckles and he's up there bleeding. A spokesperson for the school district, Stephanie Hartley, tells me campus police are investigating an incident that happened Monday at Ballard Hudson. She couldn't comment further because the investigation is ongoing. Latithia feels the incident could have been prevented. She told 41NBC Mackay's had a problem with a group of boys since he got into a fight last semester. But she says the school hasn't responded. My mom has been going up to that school about this, this same incident. As for Makai, he's just relieved the fight is over. I felt like they had more power over me. I couldn't move. His pants was covered in blood. His uh, shirt was covered in blood. And Latifia is hoping no parent ever has to experience their child in that state. I'm sorry. Latifia claims no one from the school called her or Makai's other emergency contacts after that incident. She says she spoke with the principal on campus yesterday and he told her a student did use brass knuckles in the fight. But again, 41NBC could not confirm that with the school district. In an email, district spokesperson Donald Porter wrote in part, it is standard pr practice that school personnel promptly notify a parent or guardian whenever a student is injured on school property. I am unaware of any instances where this procedure has not been followed this school year.